I'd rather start my review with a karaoke tori and Lokita singing in the restaurant. It's an Italian song named Alla Fer de Lest. The poem reveals what this movie is about. It's omnipresent in the movie. In karaoke, Lokita's form ringtone and end credits, this song is repeated. For Darden Brothers, it must be something telling. The song cheerfully depicts how easily little things are eaten by bigger ones. A mouse is a prey for a cat, and the cat is beaten by a dog, and the dog is hit by a stick. In this story, Tori and Lokita are those mice, and others almost entirely are hunters. There are a drug dealer, a smuggler, and a legal official, from whom these little creatures have no way to escape. They are the lowest level in the food chain. Tori, a playful smart boy with otherworldly gravity, finds Lokita, a teenage girl, as both companion and refuge. This is mutual and Lokita needs him too. They are together since they've met each other on the boat from West Africa to Europe. In Belgium, they encounter a big obstacle, an awkward bureaucratic requirement. Residence papers which Tori has, but Lokita has not. Lokita claims Tori is her brother. Tori helps her to prove it. They fell and finally decide to get the papers from that drug dealer bedroom, which leads to a disaster. We are absorbed by the look Tori and Lokita exchange, the way they sing together, their plans for the future. It's not without irony that Tori and Lokita, trying to convince others that they are relatives, shows an intimacy that surpasses any kinship. The movie is suspenseful and uncannily goes unpredictable, its tone gently changes, particularly in the final scenes it slips into a criminal thriller. I am astonished at what happens at last. The writing is virtual, so the acting of Tori and Lokita who are inexperienced is acceptable. The production design is fascinating. Remember the design of that cannabis form and its dark holes and frightening corridors. It reminds us, above all, of a web in which Lokita is hunted, and Tori, oblivious to the risk of being trapped, is searching for her. It's pleasing to see a film that is more powerful than you expected. I went to this movie without any expectation, and now I'm satisfied. It is so great, convincing and moving that I can consider it a triumph for me to know its gifted director, Darden Brothers. Certainly, I am eager to watch the rest of their movies. Tori and Lokita opens a new door in my cinematic adventures. Recently, UK announced a bill on illegal immigration that allows government to deport those who arrive in Britain with the small boats to Rwanda or a third safe country. I don't want to analyze if this bill defend it or denounce it, as this movie shows that those who survive the boats do not necessarily survive in the new country. Displacement is a global issue, and this Darden Brothers movie is just a reminder. Tears may roll down your cheeks. Yes, Tori and Lokita is a sad movie, but it is not disappointing at all. The hope remains with Tori in his songs and his drawings. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to help me improve my channel. Like my video and comment on it. I'm curious what you think about my reviews.